Hello everybody, welcome back to Vintage Unboxing. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today, I'm unboxing a game called Pole Position for the Atari 2600 and the VCS. Um, this game came out in 1982, but this copy I have here came out in 1988. And I picked it up from eBay for about 20 bucks. Um, the only problem with it is that it has a big dent in the bottom right hand corner of it. The back of the box says it is for one player and you use a joystick to control it. And the description says, qualify for the Grand Prix and win the pole position, the number one starting spot. Then go flat out to beat the track record and finish a winner. Features treacherous curves, hair racing near misses, and all the thrills of the popular video arcade game. So it was originally an arcade cabinet game. And the, the graphics for this game are amazing for the 2600, I think. It was really ambitious for the time it came out. It was released by Namco. And they used some type of coding to make it look 3D. But it was still just an 8-bit 2D game. Which is pretty cool. Just like the, um, the original Doom games, actually. Um, it had two different types of arcade cabinets. It had just a, one where you would stand upright, and then it had a, like a cockpit one where you would sit in a little cockpit and steer the vehicle around. Um, if you guys don't know, I am doing a giveaway once I reach 100 subscribers. So if you do like this video, Please like and subscribe, and you might win an Atari. But um, that's all for today. I'm going to be doing some gameplay after this. So please stick around and watch that. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. So this is pole position, and what it looks like, you start off on the beginning. You have like a straightaway track, and you pick, as, you pick up as much speed as you can, and the faster you go, the more points you score. So, um... If you go off the track, you slow down and lose points, and if you hit the yellow barricades that you'll see in a second, you'll slow down and lose points. The objective of it is just to get get around the track as fast as you can without hitting or going off the track. Hitting the yellow things. But, um, yeah, the, the graphics look amazing for the Atari 2600, I think. And it gives that 3D effect with the moving background when you're making turns and the moving red and white lines along with the yellow line. It was really ambitious for its time, I think. So, um, but yeah. The next video I think I'm going to be doing is going to be on Gravatar, I think it is. So, if you like that, stick around and you'll see that next week. But that's it, so thank you guys for watching.